Yo, what is going on, everyone in the crypto space? Uh, it's nice, 8 in the morning, just checking out the charts. Um, Bitcoin has really been getting drained, not drained, but down 6%, having a little pullback, but I mean, that's completely normal, just healthy market correction. And altcoins have recently seen a pretty big boom. Uh, Litecoin, man, like, impressive. Like, I mean, whoever's in Litecoin is pretty freaking happy right now because... I think it was at like a hundred bucks like a week ago. Now it's at 157. I, it was up like 60% yesterday. I mean, that's that's pretty solid. Um, I know NEM had like a 160% run. Uh, Cardano back up 25%. Uh, what else we got here? What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, Vertcoin had a little had a little boost. Pivx, but it was mainly like the top like the top 15 that. Um, Saw the altcoin boom after the Bitcoin correction. So, you know, anyone in altcoins right now, it's pretty much everybody. It's looking good right now. So, I wanted to talk about the uh, futures that will be hitting the market tomorrow. Um, and it's going to be listed by a company called CBOE. They're going to be launching a Bitcoin futures tomorrow. And this could either be the best thing for Bitcoin or the worst thing for Bitcoin. Because here's what happens now that it's on the futures market. Now people, because you can buy Bitcoin and then you can sell it to get rid of it, but if you sell it and then it goes to a lower price, or if you're trying to sell it, it goes to a lower price, then you sell it at that price, you're, you're losing money. But with futures or like foreign exchange or like the uh, stock trading through a broker, you have the ability to short to where if you call a sell and it keeps going down, you keep making money every single time it goes down. So people are afraid that Bitcoin will be shorted by the futures exchanges, and it's going to be listed on three futures exchanges by uh, mid-2018, because we got CBOE, um, we got CME Group, and then we got NASDAQ doing futures, so that's a lot of chances for it to short. And since Bitcoin is in a bubble right now, I mean, it, it's in a bubble, but it doesn't mean it's going to pop anytime soon. But um, with all with these three futures exchanges listing Bitcoin and probably more to come, there's going to be a lot of shorting in the market, which could really kill Bitcoin. I really hope it doesn't. I want to see Bitcoin rally to new all time highs because it just brings so much attention to the market. But or uh, futures exchanges could be having just tons of buy orders, no shorting, just com all all orders going long. And could really push Bitcoin to new all-time highs. So it could go either way, but I'm thinking it might be shorted because shorting is really popular to do through a broker. Because um, I, I, I trade demo forex where you just trade with fake money, and it's, it's kind of interesting to make money on the market going down instead of it going up. But uh, yeah, I also want to talk about how since Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin Gold won't be listed on the futures exchanges, I don't believe. Um, let's say Bitcoin keeps getting shorted. Let's say it drops down to like 7,000 after this one exchange uh, that's listing Bitcoin futures tomorrow. Let's say Bitcoin keeps getting shorted and people don't want to trade a currency that's being on a futures exchange because of the shorting. Now, this could we could see a really big boom in Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin Gold. Um, I own one point something Bitcoin Gold because it's so cheap and that's just the sake that it's called Bitcoin. It's probably going to rise. So... With Bitcoin potentially being shorted massively by these exchanges, Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin Gold might see a surge because personally, I wouldn't feel safe having my money in Bitcoin when a futures exchange has the potential to short short the crap out of the currency and really just drop it low. So Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Gold, they could be a good buy right now. Those could see a surge because people might not feel safe being in the Bitcoin now that it can be shorted. and. We're not just going to have healthy market corrections, but we're going to have some deep, deep drops in the market. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Just wanted to inform you about the uh, futures being listed tomorrow because I don't think a lot of people know about that. Also, I to, thanks to the guy who, um, who ended up buying a Ledger Nano S through my link. Made a little commission on that. And then somebody signed up on Coinbase and bought over $100 of Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Litecoin. So I made a little commission off that. And I think that's cool because like you're not you're supporting the channel, but you're not like giving me money directly. It's kind of like you're doing something that you kind of want to do anyways. So I get a little piece of that, and then the company that you bought it from ends up losing money if I make the commission. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.